Welcome into Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. I'm Jeffrey Cooperstein. Glad to be with you guys here on a fine Tuesday. And wanted to hit on this Luka Doncic with the win over Houston officially reached 65 games. Why is that important? Well, 65 games means he is eligible for postseason awards, including the scoring title, MVP, and most importantly, the All-NBA team. Now you'll ask, why is the All-NBA team the most important? Well, it's simple. Because he is going to make the All-NBA team, it's not an if, it's a when he makes it, and he will be first all first team All-NBA. Luka will be eligible to sign a five-year, $346 million super max extension with the Mavericks in the 2025 offseason. Now, normally he would be eligible to sign it this offseason, but since his service time will be, I think it's like less than seven years exactly or something like that, he won't be eligible to sign it until 2025, which is the year before his uh, his player option year in 25-26. And for that reason alone, I think Luka Doncic not going anywhere will be a Maverick for a long time. NBA players are not in the business of passing up hundreds of millions of dollars to leave teams and go to another. I understand that the Mavericks organization kind of been a kind of been a shit show over Luka's tenure. You know, they had a couple of playoff runs it, uh, culminating with the Western Conference final run in 21-22. There's been some turnover. There's been some drama with coaching. There's been some ups and downs, most notably last year, where the Mavericks were terrible and tanked to end the season. But Luka Doncic, not a dumb person whatsoever, has smart people advising him, will not pass up $346 million. I promise you that. Uh, what do you guys think, though? I think it's pretty obvious. Will Luka play his entire career with the Mavericks? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Uh, this is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So when you get hit with a YouTube ad break, go on down and let me know, will Luka Doncic play his entire career with the Dallas Mavericks? Like I said, Luka Doncic isn't a dumb person. Uh, he's not passing up $100 million plus dollars, whatever the case may be, to go to a different team. He'll, he'll be able to sign a four-year, probably somewhere right around $260 million contract with another team. And I just don't believe that Luca, the guy who was just coming into his prime, is going to pass up that kind of money uh, to leave for another team, no matter how bad the Mavericks situation may be at that point in time. I still think he has a good relationship with Jason Kidd, despite what people want to say about Kidd and his shortcomings and whatnot. I think he has a good relationship with Mark Cuban, and I know Cuban did sell the team and is now a minority owner, but he is still the figurehead of the Mavericks and is still involved in day-to-day -day operations at some level. I know he has a good relationship with GM Nico Harrison as well from this time with Nike, so they have a relationship there. The NBA right now is all about relationships, and I do believe the Mavericks and Luka Doncic do have a good relationship right now. Uh, as long as it's not a disaster, I think Luka's in this thing for the long haul. Now, after that contract, and Luka's pushing 30, and if the Mavericks really haven't gotten any closer to winning, then we may have a different conversation. But right now, I think my fear of Luca leaving is less than zero at the, at the moment. If you guys want, though, more watch parties, potentially some playoff watch parties here on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 20 subs on this video. We would greatly appreciate it. Myself and Harrison Graham are breaking down all the latest Dallas Mavericks news and rumors on the channel, trying to get you guys a video every day leading up to the postseason. So we'll make good on that. But please help us out. by Be sure to hit that sub button. Coming up, we'll take a look at the updated playoff picture. The Mavericks gained some ground last night after the games. We'll talk about that here in just a moment, but I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Prize Picks. Shout out to Prize Picks, man. If you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS, you'll get a first deposit match up to $100. Football season may be over, but the action on the floor is heating up. Whether it's tournament season or the fight for playoff home court, there is no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Want to play alongside Prize Picks' favorite players like Meek Mill and Sugar Sean O'Malley? You can now find community plays under the Promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. I put together a little three-legger here for tonight's action between the Dallas Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors. I got the more on Luka, 33 and a half points. I think he's on a tear. He had 47 in the last game against Houston. 34 is basically his average. So if you think Luka's going to hit his average, uh, you can get the more on that. I like Kyrie more than 25 and a half points. 
Love the matchup on him in Golden State. I don't think really they have anybody that can stop him uh, on the defensive end. And Steph Curry, uh, because we're playing against him and F the Warriors, I'm going to go less points, rebounds, and assists. I know Steph has the propensity to go off at any time. Uh, but this is my play tonight. You can ride me. You can fame me. Just do it with prize picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. I love playing prize picks. Producer Tex loves playing prize picks. Uh, because we love you and we care about you here on Mavericks Today, we'll put that link in the comments and the description of today's show. It's Prize Picks Daily Fantasy Sports Made Easy. All right, now let's take a look at the Western Conference playoff picture where the Mavericks currently sit fifth in the standings. And this is after last night's game where the, uh, where the Pelicans lost to the Sacramento Kings, which gave the Mavericks a half-game lead sitting there in fifth place. They are now, let's see, they are now... Two, one and a half games, excuse me, ahead of the play-in and the Sacramento Kings, and a full two games ahead of the Phoenix Suns. Uh, they're in a good spot right now, man, and it's only going to get harder from here with eight games remaining. Uh, you have two more against the Warriors coming up. Uh, you have a couple. Of, you have a game against the Thunder as well, so it's going to get difficult here down the stretch. Uh, but I really think the Mavericks are in a good position here uh, to be able to put themselves in the playoffs and avoid that play and get the full week off. Uh, and we'll see who they match up against because right now they can match up against anybody if they do fall out back into the play. And they can match up pretty much against any of the eight in the West. They can match up against OKC or Denver. They can match up against Minnesota if they're the six. And if they're the four or five, it'll be the Clippers. The Pelicans could be as well. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's just take a look here at the rooting guide for tonight's game uh, in the NBA. Obviously, we want the Mavericks to beat the Warriors because we want the Mavericks to win. Clippers at Kings. Now, that's an interesting one. Uh, Tex, if we could go back to the playoff picture here really quick. Clippers at Kings. It, it doesn't really matter who wins this game, but I guess so if the Kings lose, you are a full two games ahead of the Kings and a full two games ahead of the play-in. However, if the Clippers lose, and we're assuming that the Mavericks are going to win here, if the, if, so if the Clippers lose, the Mavericks win, all of a sudden, the Mavs are just one game out of the fourth seed in the Western Conference and hosting a playoff series in the first round. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. I think I want the Kings to win because I want the Mavericks to get closer to that fourth seed. Um, but either way, I think you're going to have an advantage there on either side of the playoff bracket. Uh, I, I've been kind of thinking about this throughout the last couple of weeks when the Mavericks have been getting hot and it feels like they've solidified their spot in the postseason. Who do you guys want the Mavericks to play in the first round? There's a bevy of options. Um, you have the Nuggets. You have Oklahoma City. You have the Clippers. You have Minnesota. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, who you guys want the Mavs to play in the first round of the NBA playoffs. For me, I think give me the Oklahoma City Thunder for a couple of reasons. One, I think it would be a great series, and it would be just really fun to watch Luka and Shea go at each other. And two, uh, the proximity, the geography, the, the rivalry between the two, they're just two and a half hours apart. Number three, I think the Mavericks are gonna would beat Oklahoma City in a first-round playoff series. We haven't seen OKC really do it in the playoffs before this version of OKC, of course. Uh, Shea is a great player. Jalen Williams is a great player as well. They have a bunch of great pieces. Uh, Chet Holmgren would win Rookie of the Year if Wembenyama wasn't here. So they have a bunch of great pieces, but I think I like the Mavericks' chances uh, with their battle-tested playoff vets including Luka, including Kyrie Irving. And yes, Tim Hardaway Jr. as well has been battle tested in the playoffs. Hopefully you can get something with him. Uh, so I would like OKC, but I, I would play anyone. And I think the Mavericks could beat anyone. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, who you guys want to play in the first round. And another, a quick injury update before tonight's game. Derek Lively listed as questionable with a knee injury. He obviously didn't play the second half of the Mavericks game against the Houston Rockets. And I think for all intents and purposes, this is a positive update. Uh, when you hear big man and knee injury, you kind of think, oh boy, that you, you just fear the worst and he could be out for weeks or months. But it sounds like he's questionable, going to try to give it a go tonight against the Warriors. We'll keep you guys up to date uh, on the Derek Lively situation all throughout the day. I imagine we won't hear anything until Jason Kidd's uh, post or a pregame press conference, which will be at about 7.15 p.m. Central Time. So I'll keep you guys up to date there, but just wanted to give you a little uh, Derek Lively update on his injury. And uh, later this week on the show, I'm going to be doing a mailbag. So if you want to get your question on the show, be sure to put that down in the comments as well. You can ask about the draft. You can ask about NBA free agency. 
You can ask about the Mavs right now, the playoff, whatever you want. Be sure to ask it. And if your question uh, is good enough, I will put it on our mailbag later this week. And please be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Jeff underscore Coop 27. I'm always talking about the Mavs, always talking about Dallas sports in general. So if you want to give me a follow, that'd be great. Appreciated. The next five people to give me a follow on each platform will get a shout out on the next show. And that'll be it for today's show. This is Mavericks Today. I've been Jeffrey Cooperstein. Shout out to producer Tex on the ones and twos. And we'll see you soon. Be sure to hit that sub button.